Jeff Pospisil, the 10 minute treasurer with practical advice for improving your church's financial future. In this video, we're going to be talking about QuickBooks and is QuickBooks good for churches? Um, churches, oftentimes, they'll go with some kind of a uh, church accounting software specifically designed for churches. So they might use church windows or church management solutions or icon or power church or whatever. There's a bunch of them out there, and I've used many of them. And, um, but what about QuickBooks? And the short answer is yes, QuickBooks is a good answer for churches. And I'll go over the reasons for that. Um, but one of the things I want you to know is that even though QuickBooks is not specifically designed for churches, they do make a nonprofit version that you can customize. So it does have the feel of a church accounting software so that they would use something besides customers they might use members or clients or something like that so you can customize it to make it fit your needs as a church the first reason that i think that churches should consider quickbooks is do you know how hard it is to find somebody that is experienced in church windows or shepherd staff or whatever it is you know, even in a good sized community, it's like one in 50,000 is able to use that software. So you're basically looking for a unicorn. Um, now think about how many people in a town uh, are have experience with QuickBooks. I mean, it's probably, you know, one in a hundred or something like that. So you, there's a much better chance that you'll be able to find somebody with experience in QuickBooks. Plus, even if you don't find somebody with that specific uh, experience, there's a lot of training opportunities around as well um, through local tech schools and community colleges and whatnot. So that's one thing to think about. You, know, you don't have to look for a unicorn if you go with QuickBooks. The second reason is um, QuickBooks is not going to break your bank. You know, a lot of times with the church management, um, church accounting software, a lot of times they try to package a whole bunch of other things in there. So they want to throw in payroll extra and members and donations and all that other kind of stuff extra. So I'm, it wasn't uncommon to spend 800 bucks a year to, to keep your, your church management uh, software up to date. So versus QuickBooks, you're going to probably run uh, maybe $200, $250 a year if you are buying it, you know, retail. But the thing is, too, um, you don't have to buy it off the rack or right directly from QuickBooks. There's a ways for nonprofits to get QuickBooks at a much cheaper price than by going to QuickBooks.com or picking it up at the store. Uh, the way I get it is through TechSoup. Um, TechSoup, it's a great place where they, they can donate it. And once you get verified as a 501c3, you can get QuickBooks. I think I paid last year $75 for the year for my QuickBooks. $75 for the year. So that's nothing. So even if the church didn't reimburse me, um, that wouldn't be anything to even come out of my own pocket. So you do have to go through a verification process to get on with TechSoup, and that can take a while. But once you get through it, uh, that's it's no problem at all. And I'll include a link to this in the comments. Um, but that's definitely a route I would consider going, and that's who I recommend to all my churches that I work with is go through TechSoup. There's also other cheap software through there for Microsoft, Adobe, uh, and other things as well. So that's another reason and then um <laughs> hakuna matata no worries uh one of the things that i really like about um about quickbooks is there's so many people have a lot more familiarity about seeing quickbooks reports you know so you're gonna have less worries about that trying to interpret those reports um quickbooks they do a good job about keeping up to date on all their uh, the payroll changes and all the, the the other different changes. They're constantly updating it, trying to make it easier. So I find QuickBooks to be a lot easier that way from a bookkeeping standpoint is that uh, it just becomes very in intuitive. Um, and I guess that's why they probably called it Intuit. But that's that's another reason. It'll just take away a lot of your worries. Okay, so this is a ministry of the Dakotas Conference of the United Methodist Church. And again, 
Uh, why we're doing this is because of Jesus' mission and connection. And we hope that this is a blessing to you.